All right, case study number three on traditional PV versus solar glass. We have a, a pretty uh, crazy old shake roof, which, you know, they definitely did need a new roof. And a lot of times when you're doing solar, you replace a wood shake roof with a comp roof or, or something as well, uh, generally comp. Um, so they redid all that and they actually added uh, uh, plywood on there. So that's a little bit of uh, additional cost. And I'll talk about that. But so this is kind of a case where it's like, oh, we're getting a new roof. We love Tesla. Let's do the solar glass roof and do everything all in one. Um, now, their original quote um, was, was $135,000, uh, uh, which actually I'll show that here. Um, $135,000. And then they actually did the uh, uh, version three. You know, it's just like $50,000 less, so $83,000 uh, for two power walls, solar glass, and everything and the finished product is right there. Um, but when you look at uh, this compared to uh, normal PV, uh, it's significantly less expensive for normal PV. And one of the main reasons is I can just use this one good roof. I don't have uh, uh, solar shingles all over the, the bad roof. And I'll go back to that video in a second. You can actually see where they put the solar cells. They're here, they're there, they're on this north side, they're everywhere where you're losing uh, you know, if you look at the bottom right, 67%, 60%, um, the back of the roof, 70%, 60%, now 89 to 90% on this good roof here. So um, instead of a uh, 12 kilowatt system or 11 point, um, let's see, 11.18 kilowatt system, I was able to do uh, only a 8.1 kilowatt system producing more power than their 11.1 uh, kilowatt system. 12,084 kilowatt hours. So um, they, they probably were advised to trim these trees because they did end up trimming them. Um, so the production might have been without the trim trees. Now, if I trim those trees, um, I actually did that too. And now I'm getting 13,284 kilowatt hours. So that, that boosted the production like 10% uh, about. So um, and if I was, do, if I was, you know, to do, uh, advise solar on this house, I would actually probably just put one more panel on there on that good roof, make it a nice rectangle, have it look nice, put whatever kind of comp roof you want on there. So the cost comparison to that, uh, their 11.18 kilowatt system was producing 12,060 kilowatt hours. So I can do an 8.05 kilowatt system, uh, producing over that amount, 12,084 kilowatt hours. And the PV cost alone would be only $24,000. So... Uh, that's a 5.7 year payback. Really good. 0.06 cents a kilowatt. You know, that's why people do solar. And this is PG&E, which is more expensive than SCE, which we were dealing with in case study number two. You know, but then the two power walls, I kind of, you know, uh, added extra to that a little bit just to be safe, $20,000. And uh, and then re-roofing would be about five bucks a square foot wood shake. Actually, that's not even gonna add two to 3,000 more. I actually got a quote from my roofer and for this house, uh, given the square footage and the roof, uh, even at wood shake, it would be about $12,000. It would actually add about a thousand, but a, a standard roof would be about 11,000. And then, um, uh, let's do that. A uh, standard roof would be about 11,000. And um, the wood shake roof would add about a thousand dollars to redo that plywood and um, take it off. So um, the new roof cost with power walls and solar would be 55,000 versus 83,000 after tax credit, about 40,000 versus 61,000. So that'd be about 14 cents a kilowatt or 24 if it was financed. And uh, the solar glass system would be about 20 cents a kilowatt or 36 cents a kilowatt after finance. So if you finance this, it's gonna be more expensive the whole time um, you know, basically, so financing just doesn't really work, which is why Tesla actually originally had like a 30 year financing in like version one and version two. And then it was, uh, it was about double the cost right away. So it didn't start saving money till like 15 or 20 years down the financing. Um, when electricity is assumed to go up at, you know, uh, probably a, a, a really high percentage or something like that to make it make sense. So nobody did that. Um, and then version three, it's at least, uh, um, can kind of make sense with cash, but it's $83,000, a lot of money. They didn't really break down the um, the cost details on the different aspects. They just have the total cost of 80,000. But what's interesting is they did have, uh, how many days the install takes, 17 days. Now, uh, this is where things get really interesting. Can Tesla actually even make money with the Powerwall? So let's look at this giant calculator here. And um, let's say a normal PV system 
takes about one to two days to install for, for uh, uh, four to five guys. So a normal PV system, actually let's, let's say the uh, 11 kilowatt system. So you have, uh, let's say you have five guys and uh, working eight hours a day, um, getting an average of say 30 bucks an hour, electricians are more, roofers and, and kind of helpers are less. So let's just say $30 with uh, uh, you know your minimum or with um, workman's comp and uh, just the, the total labor burden. How many days? Uh, it would take about um, two days. So that's twenty twenty four $2,400. Uh, plus that roof, you know, you could add an extra like $1,000 uh, to, to tear off that roof, uh, which would be additional work for that. But that's like a, a different cost. So now 17 days for five to seven people. So let's use those same numbers. Um, now we have six people at eight hours a day times 30 bucks times, let's just go ahead and take off the, the, um, uh, the extra work for uh, the wood shake. Um, so let's just take it to, to 15 days, $21,000. Yeah, um, that's why it's so expensive. I mean, I, I will say that. Uh, but that also means um, Tesla probably can't make money doing this. So, they, and this is version three. So this is where they're finally like, okay, uh, this is manageable now. It's not taking two months to install. It's only taking two, two to three weeks. It's a long time. And, and that's just so much work and so much money that, that's constantly going into that. Um, you know, and yeah, they're, they're getting $83,000, but that's just a lot, a lot of money in labor and, and, uh, uh, the other work that, that goes in that. So uh, they're going to probably see complicated systems like this have been out for a long time, like all the other roof systems that are out there uh, or that were out there, like SunTech um, and uh, uh, Dow Chemicals and RGS. Um, so they all stopped doing those because they, they, uh, they took way too long, cost way too much money. So they stopped doing it. So if this is something where Tesla just wants to lose money. I mean, they can charge more and maybe uh, uh, not lose money, but uh, that's probably what's going to end up happening. And then they'll um, probably just stop doing the solar roof or, or just stick to traditional PV and, uh, you know, charge more for the solar glass, maybe since they're, they're kind of have it in production and everything. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so that's the, uh, the third analysis there. And uh, I think I went through all the breakdowns here of the cost per watt. And yeah, let me know if, if you see any problems with my math or with the analysis and what you think, um, you know, th this seems to be a, uh, a name brand driven uh, purchase and uh, I don't want to like rain on these people's parades and, and, you know, say that you spent way too much money. I mean, dude, you, you want that aesthetic look, you want that roof and, and you know, you're, you're paying for it. Uh, but um, how many people are actually going to do that? You know, most solar is about efficiency. You know, I mean, I could actually, um, you know, take this house and put all the all the panels on the back so you don't see them and still cost a lot less and get the same production um you know so that that's an option too with traditional pv and then put whatever kind of roof you want on the front whatever kind of cool comp or concrete or whatever and it's going to cost a lot less as well so i mean if you want that glass look and and just know that it's producing solar i guess it can kind of make sense in some situations but not not really i mean it just costs more um a lot more so uh, please let me know. Give me your feedback, comments below, and see you next time on The Solar Truth.